A little bit of some wind and rain to get started on our Tuesday morning. Cooper Island, British Virgin Islands. Here we go with our time lapse to start off the day. And you can see a little bit of that haze out there, likely just a bit in the way of some rain coming on down. But here's the sunshine and we're not just seeing a little bit of it right now. We'll continue to see more of it over these next few days. You can see Doppler Max quiet in terms of watches or warnings. Or advisories too. not seeing any of those satellite across the Caribbean is generally on the quieter side. You can see much of the region actually experiencing sunshine from the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica over through Hispaniola, much of Central America really quiet as well. Further eastward, we do have some active weather to our south Guadalupe, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. Some showers and thunderstorms with a lingering trough here. You can see the extent of it pushing into the open waters of the Atlantic. We're seeing a little bit of that and that's what has sparked a couple of showers here to start off the week. Let's get to our future cast. We had for Wednesday afternoon. Majority of that low pressure remains down to our south. We'll be weakening at that. Only some lingering showers there for the southern half of the Lesser Antilles. High pressure in place. You can kind of see that steering current. It's more of a clockwise flow and that's reminiscent of high pressure in place uh, air kind of separating we're seeing more of a separation of that cloud cover and that means more sunshine also some warmer temperatures another frontal boundary is off to our west we head for our Thursday afternoon that's going to slide further and further eastward but similar to what we saw kind of last week this frontal boundary not going to have a whole lot of momentum or moisture with it so likely won't be leading to too many of those showers let's get right to future cast we head for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning Clearing skies expected. We keep that sunshine throughout our Wednesday time frame. Maybe Wednesday evening could see a couple more clouds region wide. Further off to the west, only real shades of green we're seeing here with our future rainfall amounts. So likely seeing any showers that pass on by just a couple of sprinkles as they push off. Uh, into the afternoon. Let's get right to the winds. Those will be coming in from the east so our typical easterly winds. We're not seeing really a whole lot of variation with them over the coming days. You can see a little bit more in the way of some green and yellow we had for Thursday, so it will increase our wave heights just a touch. You can see that deeper shade of blue, though. It does mean that we'll be seeing nearly calm waters. St. Thomas, St. John, the immediate waters there. And as we head for our Friday, starting to see a little bit of that lighter shade of blue returning. Nonetheless, not really expecting too many in the way of marine hazards. We don't have any of the small craft advisories in the first place. 84, 87 degrees, mostly sunny skies region wide. We're building in a little bit more warmth than what we have been seeing here. 29 up to 31 Celsius. Our next five days, the rain showers look to arrive. We head for our Friday time frame. It's nothing overly impressive in terms of those rain shower chances still giving it a modest 30 percent these next two days though Wednesday and Thursday pure sunshine we get through the Friday showers we got more in the way of that sunshine as we head for the weekend Saturday Sunday both up towards 88 degrees certainly great weather out there AJ especially as we get closer and closer till the weekend